So the media who gave Donald Trump $2 billion in free airtime, free coverage, uh, is now blaming uh, people with no power and no money. Here's Immediately, Rachel Maddow immediately sticks her head up her ass. Immediately. Here's what she tweeted out. I swear to God, she just tweeted out like 10 minutes ago. She says, in Florida, Hillary Clinton lost by about 1.4% of the vote. But if Jill Stein supporters and half of Gary Johnson's backers had voted Democratic, Trump would have lost the state. She's doing that shit again. She's trying to pretend like, th- again, th- this is not the problem. Talk about putting a Band-Aid on a dead body. This is not the freaking problem, you knucklehead. She went to fr- She's a Rhodes Scholar. A dumb guy like me looks at you and goes, Dah! All those books made you stupid. All that reading made you a dummy. You're to blame for this. You are. You chose the worst candidate in the history of America who couldn't even beat Donald Trump. You chose him in the primary. That's your fault. Don't try to blame anybody else, you corporate tool. This is your fault. Already doing this. Isn't that hilarious? Well, here we go. Here's uh, McKay Coppins, who I, I you know, I, he goes, MSNBC correspondent in Moscow says Russian people are reacting ecstatically to Trump's victory. They view him as a peace candidate. That's weird. I, I don't know what the, I don't want to read into that, but it sounds bullshitty again. Like, yeah, it turns out Russians don't want someone who wants to go to war with them <laughs> to be our president. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Donald Trump said he wants to work with Putin. They want that guy to be president. What? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Russian people see Trump was the peace candidate over Hillary Clinton. So it's already happened. So I don't know. So McKay, I mean, that guy, I like him. I like McKay Coppins over at the BuzzFeed. And, um, but I don't know what the heck that, that's just, yeah, they should be that way. But this is, uh, again, there's just no dignity. <laughs> like what, Hey, what do you think about this? Uh, the Rachel Maddow stuff is, a, it's a, it's absurd because the number one reason Hillary lost was Hillary. <laughs> it was a democratic establishment that foisted the least likable establishment poster child in, into an electorate that has no taste for it. Um, there's always a lot of factors that go into this whole thing. The McKay Coppins thing with the Russia thing. I mean, I, I I think it's pretty clear that Russia would prefer to deal with Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton. He's, you know, they can invade uh, crime or Ukraine mm-hmm. and, and Trump's probably not going to go in. And, you know, I mean, they, they can cause a lot of chaos without I mean, because Trump's not going to be as obstructive to them as Hillary. I'm not sure how eloquent that was, but they certainly seem to have a relationship, um, you know, but. Uh, what's her face? Ivanka was vacationing with Donald Trump's girlfriend and posted about it on Instagram. I mean, there's obviously some overlap between them. That's a little disheartening. If if you, mm-hmm. if you trust it, maybe it's all made up. But let me say this about these numbers. She says in Clinton, she's going to lose by 0.3 percent of the vote. But if half the supporters at uh, Stein voters had voted, Trump would have lost the state. Here's even a more important stat, Rachel. In Michigan, Obama. Got 596,000 votes in 2012. Hillary Clinton got 467,000 votes. This is in Wayne County, Detroit. That means Barack Obama voters didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. She didn't get them out to vote. In Wisconsin, same thing. She got like a third of the vote in Milwaukee. So these are the urban centers. And she didn't get them. There's prob- uh, uh, She didn't get them. Again, this bullshit, this is fucking crazy that they're still doing this. This is crazy. Seven million less people voted this year. And they're still doing this. Look, a third, half of a percent of a third of a thing of a fat. Trump got less votes than Romney and he still won. So here's the... uh, Here's what Michael Tracy said about McKay, McKay Coppins with his with his tweet about people in Russia are thrilled. 
And he goes, oh my, oh my, how terrible. This must be the result of a sinister plot, not Hillary Rodham Clinton's campaign tactic of ginning up an insane anti-Russian war fever. Fervor. Fer fervor and fever work both. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, I, it's, uh, again, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't understand. This is, this is like, it's just like the opposite of, 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 of logic, of thinking. This is just crazy. This is a, you would spend time doing this and tweeting this out. It's just crazy. So here, just a little bit more to show you how crazily out of touch a lot of the media is. Here's somebody who wrote for Slate. Uh... It says, throughout the race, I saw dozens of commentators on the left insisting that Clinton was a shoe in and that the horse race was manufactured. Trump, they said, stood no chance. For example, Janelle Bowie of Slate wrote in August, there is no horse race here. Clinton is f far enough ahead at a late enough stage in the election that what we have is a horse running by itself. imperturbed, but for the faint possibility of a comet hitting the track, place your bets accordingly. So this is what's interesting about that is that this pointer.org, this news org, this news website said, breakout star, Jamel Bowie, Slate, CBS. Back in August, when most major networks were heralding the election as a close contest between Trump and Clinton, Bowie blasted the conventional wisdom in a piece for Slate, where he's the chief political correspondent. His piece, titled There Is No Horse Race, articulated a runaway lead for Clinton, a lead that she held until the polls tightened in recent weeks. Bowie has been a regular and an incisive presence on the face of the nation and a prolific columnist over at Slate, where he's examined the nexus of politics, race, and media. So that's the chief <laughs> political correspondent for Slate, saying there's no horse race here. This is all made up. There's no, and then not only was there a horse race, Hillary Clinton lost. Talk about the, I mean, this is just, again, the elite out of touch, completely out of touch, completely. And I do not predict them to learn the right lessons.